I've seen that uh, a tweet by uh, Mr. Polivier, and uh, it really saddens me that he would actually use the same language uh, that uh, Mr. Trudeau or all the other uh, gov governments in the dem uh, Western democracies would use to slander me. Uh, like I said, we really had a great time with the uh, members of his party. We all enjoyed ourselves. And um, if he resorts to that and misrepresents what I stand for in such a way, then I'm terribly sorry. Then I will have to tell Mr. Polivier uh, he has no business being the leader of the opposition because he's actually doing a uh, Mr. Trudeau's bidding, and uh, he should seriously reconsider uh, if he would like to continue to do this. Because if he does, um, the way I see it, the people will no longer uh, support him, and uh, that would serve him right. Anyone doing the bidding of Mr. Trudeau and buying into the uh, narrative of, uh, yeah, representing me in a way that, as uh, Mr. Trudeau would put it or would call it, un unacceptable views, um, just goes to show that apparently uh, he is someone that truly lacks the ability to see what's right in front of him and to see what is really important. And uh, yeah, he may no longer be fit to actually represent the people. So my question to you would be, why did you choose to pose with the controversial Diagolon flag and salute with its member? To be quite honest, I actually had a blast doing it because I was told this is like they are comedians and, and literally made a mockery of this whole government agenda and uh, the way they're trying to slander even the freedom truckers as racists and all of that. So they came up with this idea uh, created like this flag and, and a special greeting and I just had a blast with it. And yeah, I've, you know, posted, post for the picture with that. And uh, I will not apologize for that because I had a good time doing it. Uh, I just like the idea of someone making a mockery of this whole madness that is going on with the governments controlling the people. So um, yes, that was actually uh, pretty funny. And uh, I did that. What I did not appreciate, however, is um, that this picture then obviously was uh, uh, used in a completely different uh, context. Uh, given it a different meaning, but I will not apologize for that. I had a blast and I will do it again because no one gets to define me. I know what I stand for. I know exactly who I am. I know what I'm fighting and uh, I know perf perfectly well what I am fighting for. And that is freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. And if you s throw in some kind of a co comedian touch in that, oh, be my guest. I will be all for it. So uh, no one gets to define me. Did you heard about the Agolong before or the flag that he's carrying around? No, I hadn't heard. Uh, I was told. And uh, like I said, I just love the idea of someone making a mockery of these uh, overreaching and controlling governments. So you, you are pursued that Diagolon and his flag is just mockery and just kind of humoristic movement. Yeah, that, that is exactly my, my impression. And like I said, it's a brilliant idea. And maybe more people should do it. Uh, you know, just make a mockery of this idiotic government uh, uh, that is uh, increasingly infringing on fundamental rights. Make a mockery of it because that's all we have left pretty much. But if you knew before that all the flag and this uh, group, uh, what they stand for is mostly extremists and not really well greatly viewed by the society, by what they stand for. Would you have done the same? Well, the question is, are they really extremists or are they only being labeled as extremists? Once again, my impression was, and I still continue to, to, to think of it that way, it was someone trying to make a mockery of this ridiculous attempt of the governments to control the people. Do you do a difference between um, the radical Islam and the Muslim or you condemn all this religion as a whole? Okay, I always differentiate between uh, people and uh, organizations. <clears throat> so when, when looking at Islam, um, 
I do not have problems with Muslims. I do, however, have a problem with Islam. I do not consider Islam to be a, a religion, uh, much less a religion of peace. It's actually a religion of submission. Um, I, I, I seriously have a problem with Islam. Um, I'm not Islamophobe. Uh, on the contrary, I'm not afraid of Islam. What I'm afraid of is um, that Islam, and I consider it that, uh, that to be, it, the Islam is, is a mis misogynistic, dehumanizing and, and you know, uh, ideology. It's not a religion, at least not by our standard of what a religion should be. Our understanding of, of religion is actually that uh, love, compassion, forgiveness, you know, and eternal life. That's our understanding of religion. That, however, does not apply to Islam, as l at least not if you really look into this ideology. Uh, by no stretch of the imagination would you actually consider that a religion. Um, it's kind of like um, while uh, communism claims to be some kind of a, a governing uh, uh, mechanism, uh, which it's not, it's a religion, but Islam posing as a religion is exactly that. It's a state ideology.